Over the past week, the complaints for College Bowl 25 have been rolling in on places like Reddit and Twitter, and they mostly have been around Dynasty. Today, EA finally released a response which goes over some of that, which is what I'm going to be going over today. But I wanted to go through some of the issues that people have been having and going a little deeper into why I think they are happening. And I have been trying to give EA College Ball 25 the benefit of the doubt so far in the past couple months. But I had to sit down and make a video going over the issues and seeing what EA is saying about it a week after the release date. With that being said, let's get straight into the video as I start with some of the issues people have been having with Dynasty. First and biggest is that the super sim is completely messed up and if you go on anything, any social media, you'll see this all over the place. You know, you often have FCS teams beating teams like Georgia and Clemson when you have your ticker bar at the bottom, you're like, that is crazy, that's never going to happen and it's true, but for some reason in this game, the FCS teams are kind of overpowered when, you know, you're not playing as a team against them or whatever, just a super sim. But they're beating these really good teams which is obviously super unrealistic and not only that but their ranking system is messed up too the top 25 has shown very little coherence between saves like they are just kind of all over the place things like for example i saw a screenshot where alabama was four and five and still ranked in the top 10 they were number nine i believe which doesn't make sense for two reasons a alabama should really never be four and five the first year of a save like this coming year alabama going four and five is unheard of unless their whole team you know dies or something like that so that's the first part but the second part is obviously a lot more obvious and that's the fact that a four and five team no matter who you are should never be in the top 10 unless you know all five of those are sec quality losses therefore you know they should stay in the top 10 but jokes aside Four and five, they should never be in the top 10. And that's definitely something I don't know how EA didn't see in the pre-release and stuff like that. So hopefully they're fixing that pretty soon. There are a lot of other small things. Those are the two main things in Dynasty, but I wanted to go over some simple things that just should have been patched or just fixed easily before the game even came out. Some things are missing. Like, well, for example, you can't exactly see how much a player progresses in the offseason. There's only a green arrow going, you know, up or down, mostly up, though, because players will progress, which which in the past games you saw plus 10, plus 15, plus 5, stuff like that to see exactly how much better they got. But that just isn't in the game. And some people are saying, well, it makes it more realistic because you don't actually know. But that would make sense if there weren't already, you know, number ratings 1 through 99, but there are in this game. So you have to be able to see as a number how good your players got in the offseason, which is just something i don't understand why they chose to exclude from the game a bug that if people have been having is that they can't schedule visits for when you know recruits already have their top five which is when you're supposed to have visits unlocked they just can't schedule visits which doesn't make sense for really any reason at all you know it's just kind of an oversight by ea to not fix that before the game comes out because it's not a small issue i mean people have been complaining across the internet about that it's a very very widespread issue so Hopefully they get on that too, but there are also no past records, which is something that should be a given. It was in NCAA 14. You saw, you know, you beat the, you know, rushing yards in a game or rushing yards in a season, stuff like that. It's just not in the game. And for a dynasty where you're competing against, you know, you're trying to bring your school to the top and beat however good it was in the past that just doesn't make sense to me why they wouldn't choose to include that and i have been talking about that if you go back if you've been watching my videos you know that i've been saying about dynasty is i want i wanted top five and top ten records and they didn't give us records at all so that's a big disappointment to me personally as well as a lot of other people who have been complaining about the exact same thing wear and tear has been another thing that ea has pushed this whole time before the game comes out you know this new thing not in mad and stuff like that but they did not choose to include mass subs in the game, which another thing that just doesn't make sense. And it's more useful to other people than me because I wouldn't really do that anyway. But people are saying, you know, you're up big mass subs, but that just isn't an option in this game. And it's something I hope they add in a patch coming soon. I hope they don't leave that for the whole entire next year. Maybe it'll come out in 26. That can't happen. It has to happen now. It has to happen soon because just so many people need mass subs in the game. A smaller issue is just the music and some people complain about this too it's kind of split 50 50 it's just the drums it just doesn't have like uh, it isn't fun to hear like ncaa 14 because when you hear that back you're like this is this is good and it's not nostalgia bus i promise 
it just drums it doesn't have you know any kind of type of melody i turned it off because it just got annoying after like the first 15 minutes so i was really hoping they would do something better with the music in fact they even put out a video you can go back a long while and watch it if you want but i covered it too where they had you know a soundtrack deep dive a little bit where they had you know some clips and i just don't know what happened to the soundtrack it just isn't good the commentary is also pretty bad. A lot of people have been using the word stiff, which I completely agree with. It doesn't really flow at all, and a lot of times they'll just say something completely wrong. Like, for example, I was playing a game the other day, and I had thrown three picks. I was like, it doesn't matter, but I had thrown three picks, and then I go on a good job with my quarterback, and they say something like, the quarterback is having a great day, no interceptions, which is obviously not true. I didn't sub anyone in, so I don't know how that could happen. You know, obviously they would never say that in a game unless... For some reason they weren't aware of the picks but that just doesn't make sense and there are other clips online of stuff like that i'm not going to go into huge detail but there are just a lot of commentary mistakes and stuff when commentary doesn't make sense like when they run 99 yards and they say like two different things just touchdown so i don't know they made a video literally saying that the commentary was going to be super deep and it just isn't at all so i w don't see them fixing that it, we're just gonna have to live with it. I know you guys might be thinking that this is just a complaint video and I'm just bashing EA in the game, which is not true. It's more of just a criticism video. I know I'm kind of complaining a little bit, but it's not in bad taste. So I just wanted to say that real quick. But anyway, back to Dynasty. It just seems like there is a lack of play testing because there are so many issues that should have just been addressed before it came out and just weren't, which leaves me be to believe that EA just didn't care because there's no way that they didn't know about them prior to the release. Like this image of Vanderbilt winning by 24 and overtime. And if you know anything about football, which is if you're watching this video, you probably do, you know that is physically impossible to happen in any level, I think. But mostly college football, you have to win by six, two, th two, or three, something like that. You can't win by 24 in overtime. So I'll put the picture up, but you know that that just can't happen. I'm not really going to talk about Road to Glory right now because there are some a little bit issues, but the main theme has just been it's kind of empty, which isn't really a bug or something that EA can fix right now. So I'm just going to move on to what you've probably been waiting for, which is EA's response. So I'm going to go over that real quick as the main point because it was a pretty short article. So let's get into that. So they started off by saying that Dynasty should have many different factors, which make saves completely different. Even if you use the same school as your friend, you know, the world's changed because of so many different things, which I guess makes sense for them. But that was kind of like their intro thing. They said, and I quote, as for player feedback, we do see the feedback about the Super Sim logic. We have been looking into tuning Super Sim logic, including FCS schools potentially creating more upsets than intended. As for wider Super Sim logic tuning, we will continue to monitor player feedback and the telemetry data from all users dynasties as we gather more data i guess it's decent that they are trying to fix it after the backlash so that's a start but they also say they will fix the top 25 rankings bugs and the playoff skating kind of just as a side note below that they acknowledge the issue with modified conferences not saving saying that you just have to go back into the setting to see if it's saved which I don't, I th it said workaround, so I think that's what you do until they fix it. I don't think they're just saying to do that for the rest of the time you're playing Dynasty. They address the top five visit bug by just saying that the team will do additional tuning to the recruiting process, which could mean anything. I'd, I think they'll definitely target bugs first, but they just said tuning to the recruiting process, so they could change stuff that people like or people dislike. They really weren't very broad. They just said, we know about this issue and the team is working on it i guess there are a couple other points about stuff like small issues with team builder and kind of cosmetic stuff with jersey numbers people are complaining about so i'm not going to go in those in depth because those don't really matter but you can find the you know article if you want to know that much but those are just the main points kind of the meat of the article what you want to know so there wasn't a whole lot going on just letting us know i guess they know about the issues and are trying to fix them so it's good that ea is aware of the problems so it could be worse but i still don't know how they didn't see these before the release like i don't know how one person didn't just sit down and play dynasty and say these are the issues we should fix them and if they did see them then they just didn't care enough to fix them so either way it's kind of a lose-lose for ea but it is what it is at this point and we can hope that they do patch them pretty soon so we can get back to dynasties which makes sense and don't have georgia going 0 and 10 their first year so with that being said i guess we'll just wait for the next patch and i will see you in the next one bye